how many ordered pairs of integers m, n satisfy this equation? So we can write this equation a, a different way. Um, if we square both sides, we get n squared minus 49 is equal to m squared. And then rearranging this equation, we get n squared minus m squared is equal to 49. And then this can be written, rewritten as follows. So it's got to be true this times this equals 49. We can then look at factors of 49. So uh, 49 is equal to 49 times 1. 49 is also equal to um, 7 times 7. So let's look at the instance uh, where it's equal to 7 times 7. So here, what's going to make each of these uh, equal to 7? Well, if we have 7 plus 0 and 7 minus 0, that'll give us 49. Um, so n here is equal to... Um, n is equal to 7, and m is equal to 0. We could also have um, n equal to negative 7, and m equal to 0. And the reason why that works is because then we have negative 7 uh, times negative 7, which is 49. So that's the only way uh, that we're going to get 7 times 7 here. And so, and, and also we can't have, um, it's, it's, we can't have um, m equal to 7 or negative 7, because if we plug that in here, then this number is going to be uh, smaller, it's going to be, uh, negative 49 if we were to, to flip these around. Uh, so these are the two ordered pairs that we found in this instance. Uh, next in this case of 49 times 1. So let's look at that. So we'll, we'll say that n plus m is equal to uh, 49, and let's say that n minus m is equal to 1. Um, if we add this equation to that equation, we get 2n is equal to 50, and therefore n is equal to 25. And so going back to the equation uh, n squared minus m squared equals uh, 49. We plug this 25 in here. 625 minus m squared is equal to 49. Um, then we get we can solve for m squared. m squared is going to be, um, that will be 576. And there we get m is equal to 24. And so same thing that we did here is, so we have 25, 25 plus 24. Um, that's how we get 49 times 1. We can also get, um, we can do, uh, if this were negative 25, 
negative 25 plus 24. So here this is negative 1, and then negative 25 minus 24. We get here this is negative 1 times negative 49. That also equals 49. Um, so the pair we found here was 24 comma 25. And what we found here is uh, this is going to be 24 comma negative 25. Same pattern actually uh, that we found up here. The this is changing from positive to negative. This stays the same. Um, and if you play around with that, you'll find that, or sorry, this is this is positive 24, negative 25. Uh, and yeah, these are the the four ordered pairs. There's no other way um, to have an integer pair such that uh, this equation is satisfied. Um, so since there are four ordered pairs, answer is choice D.